Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Vel, and we're back with another one. In this one, we're gonna be checking out best player one's thoughts on BTK going against Onik, bro. Like, so I, I guess a lot of people are saying that they're gonna lose. Some people think that they have a chance of winning. Let me know where y'all stand on that spectrum. Um, I mean, I've seen Onik do some dirty things, bro. Onik is a very strong team, but BTK, I don't think that I don't think that it's as soft as people think. So Hopefully, it's, it turns out to be a really, really good game. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for a great game. But, yeah, let me know how y'all think that one's going to go. Because I can't wait. It should be coming up very, very shortly here. But, um, yeah, th this is Best Player 1's thoughts on everything. So, yeah, let's get it. It is going versus Fnatic on it. Yeah, we're going to win. Shark was unreal. Yeah. Bro, when I was watching BTK versus Turkey today, I was like a little bit worried until Shark did a flick of jump on Suyu and I think Edith at board. Because they killed both of them and it was a free lord after that. That shit was so good. That shit was so good. Like, Shark actually saved the fuck out of that game. But they. They also won that 3v4 at Lord. Not 3v4, 3v5. That 3v5 might have been more crazier than the Gwendolyn play. I'm not gonna lie. They were so focused on trying to secure Lord that Bruno was just hitting him the whole time. That is crazy. Did he, did he get cooked against Onik? Nah. Nah. They got it. They got it. Why can't they get cooked with Onik? The chances are 99.9%. Dang, hold on, what? The chances are 99.9%. Why can't they beat Skills on it? The chances are 99.9%. Yo, he said it's 99.9% .9 chance that they destroy Onik. Sheesh, that, that, that's actually, that's, I mean, yo, if it turns out to be true, that's going to be a crazy prediction. That would be an, uh, an, an insane upset. Like, because that, that prediction is a very strong one right there, but... I don't think BTK is here to mess around, and if BTK proves that they're as solid as some of the, you know, some a team like Onik, like that's crazy. That, that's gonna be that's gonna be a crazy thing. Thoughts on BTK M6? We're doing really good. We're doing really good. They need they need like one more win, right, for playoff? Bro, I was so confused, bro. I I know how, I know how the bracket works. I just don't know how much games it takes in order to qualify. <clears throat> But apparently, you need like three games to qualify, right? Like three wins. And then, like Onik will win for sure. Every every other team is a tier below them. I think BTK will make it top four. We'll see. We'll see. But I do think they'll win versus Fnatic Onik. I think they'll win. Is Zane still hiding his Suyu and Alpha? He's not really hiding. Everybody knows he can play because. Play predictions, <laughs> best prediction one, BTK versus Fnatic Onik. I, yo, guys, guys, my predictions are never wrong, bro. BTK will win. I'm telling you, bro. Why would I want NA to do bad? See, like oh, it sounds like my mans might be a little biased towards NA. And I mean, I'm from NA too, but it's like, I don't know. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm qualified enough to speak on who's going to win because I don't watch it as consistently as a lot of people do. So I'm just now getting back into watching the game, seeing what's going on and stuff like that. So, yeah, I can't really give a prediction. Everybody's looking good. That's all I've noticed since being back. Everyone's looking like solid teams. I've been enjoying the gameplay. So it, it's been very, very solid games since I've been back. I can't really see or tell who is like... I, I know when everybody make crazy plays, but they all are looking very talented right now. Look, that, that's what I don't get. Why do people hate that I root for... Not root... I mean, yes, I kind of am rooting for BTK. Well, why do people hate on that for? It doesn't matter if they're doing good or bad. I still want, I, I would still want them to win. I like the energy, though. I like the energy. I love how he's rooting for his country. That's what he's supposed to do. When everybody else roots for their country, it's not a problem. So I, I don't see why it would be with him rooting for his country. So, yeah, shout out to him. Um, Shout out to the best player. Uh, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. How do you all feel? Who who do you think is going to take it all, take it home? But, yeah, that, that being said, um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one, fam. Peace out, Joe.